I'm Heidi, and this is a summer update for 2014 for 6217 Dunsmuir Avenue. I'm going to do this very quick because if I don't, I won't do it at all. This is the side yard, and this is the yard we usually enter on. And here is our wonderful new <laughs> ski fence that Steph put in last summer. We usually come up this way which takes us to the back patio, which is very private. Shady in the afternoon, and boy, in the summer, that means a lot. Got a lot of seating options, a Weber barbecue, dining table, and over here are some lounge chairs with a fire pit. That's how we get in at the kitchen. These cool walk-through magnetic screens. Boy, I love them. New for us, but so convenient. This kitchen truly is a great example of if we don't have it, you don't need it. Stove, dishwasher, Keurig coffee maker, excellent knives, nice big sink, pantry with everything, refrigerator freezer, more pantry with everything, an oak dining set in the dining area of the kitchen, with some cool artifact, artifacts on the wall. Really neat little birdhouse. Our recycling container. And a leaf for the table so that it expands. This is the living room. It's a television. Has satellite service. And what house near Mount Shasta is complete without antique snowshoes? Cool art throughout. That's an MP3 or iPod, iPhone, iTunes player over there. Great library. Lots of very good books. This door goes out to the mudroom, which is real nice in the winter and just not really needed in the summer much, nor used much. This is a neat stove that uh, heater that let's see turn it on for you again not something you tend to use in the summer but it sure is nice in the winter beautiful antique hutch and a little double futon there very large armoire with extra bedding, a lot of homemade or handmade furniture here. This was a little office and we turned it into what we call the tiny bedroom. It is tiny. It's one twin bed. It's a captain's bed so it has drawers underneath. Another cool antique table. Great shot of Steph's father who was a World War II fighter pilot. Nice fan up here. This is the master bathroom. With a terrific frog shower curtain and a very large shower bath. Those are the stairs downstairs. I'm going to take you there in a minute. This is the master bedroom, and it has trout lights all the way around the top of it. Also has a little sitting area. Great for putting on footwear, a fan, large closet, very large dresser. 
A basket that has a lot of loner things in case somebody forgot something. We've got it. Alarm clock. Isn't that a pretty bed? It's also very comfortable. Coming back this way, we're back to the kitchen. Now, I'm going to dash over and take you downstairs so you've seen two bedrooms plus a sleeping area in the living room. Downstairs, which is really the main floor, street level floor of the house. There is the second monitor heater, another large dresser, queen bed, uh, queen bed upstairs as well. This is a pine queen sleigh bed. More great books. Another entrance. And a closet here. This is the laundry room with a washer dryer and a wash basin. And back here. A large room that has a large closet, large dresser, fantastic antique Victorian brass and wrought iron bed. Some nice artwork here too. And also a trundle bed, twin bed. And another stove that's really electric. And when you open it here, you can see and hear. It's really quite uh, realistic. And way too hot for summer. What I like about this is you have a little bit of a view of the firebox on both sides. Neat picture of Steph and her dog Bisco running the rapids up on the Trinity River where we live. And here's the second bathroom. It has a sink, a toilet, and a great old ball and claw foot bathtub, which is really, really nice for soaking in after a long hike. Oh, maybe up at Castle Craig's or on Shasta. Well, that about does it. Pretty fast and a good 2014 update of the Fish and Ski House in Dunsmuir.